easy enough to do. This is a cleanup, but I figured I would shrink lunch down to two minutes. Now, what's lunch? Um, this is lunch right here. Take a look at this. If I can get it all in the, in the viewfinder, I can't do it. Welcome back to Indian Trace. What you're looking at is lunch, and we're going to start from the bottom and just, uh, like I said, I'm going to shrink my lunch down to two minutes and show you the cleanup because a lot of these were so dirty, I realized, and you just couldn't see them. I mean, some of the prize ones, I just couldn't even see those when I was on the video because they were covered with dirt. I mean, you could tell they were nice points, but, of course, I mean, I don't find a lot of pottery around here, so I pick it up. I mean, I only found five pieces today, and it's not like I saw a bunch around and only picked up five pieces. But look at the difference in this stuff. If you want a close-up of it, we're going to go right through it. Okay, it might be three minutes, might be four. But some of you guys, you say, well, make your videos longer, make videos longer. I don't know what's up with that. I mean, we have a busy life. I'll, I'll take two minutes, three minutes all the time, or five minutes. Nice-looking pottery. Now, of course, a lot of this pottery is fairly thick, blackened on the back, cured with seashells and sand, that sort of stuff, or some type of shells. I can't say seashells. Probably mussel shells around here, crushed up. Helps temper it. Now, right here, what you're seeing in the Guilfords. Man, I found seven Guilfords today. Look at this. Well, these and these are going to find a nice new home somewhere in the United States of America. This is great artifacts, but I mean, uh, I keep it moving. And, of course, categorized up here, I'm thinking about keeping. Of course, these are going to go in my heartbreakers. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Check this out. This is the cleanup. Just the material we're finding here in eastern North Carolina all together. Like I said, this was a sweet... Well, I can't even see that one. That's a Marl Mountain piece. You can see it? Nice piece. Stellar lunch today. Another little Marl Mountain. Some fun stuff. And going through these big pieces... Guilford's, just to show you what they look like clean. And the flaking. Some of you study the flaking and stuff when you see it. There's different periods here. Nice stuff. Don't usually do a video with artificial light, so we'll see. I, I'm seeing, uh, it looks like I can find the color. One little quartzy. All these that you see here down here, below this, are all uh, off to greener pastures, I guess you could say. Nice artifacts, fun stuff, right? Here's a couple brokes that I found today that are going in my heartbreakers. I mean to tell you, too. This is a new break. It's all right. That's what happens, you know. Did some good stuff with quartz. That's beloved of me. I don't mind finding those any day. They make for a good display. You guys saw that, I guess, yesterday. And going right in, this is that stinger cleaned up, about two and a half inches, and it's thin, thin to the wind. My goodness, if I can get a clean up shot of it. I guess that's good enough. Nice piece, though. Keeper. Another great, interesting Guilford. And the bottom is actually on purpose convexed. Or concave, I should say. Nice flaking on that. And it is a little bit arched on the top. But just a nice piece. Just a nice piece. Cleaned up. Nice. Here's that piece of sugar quartz from Crystal Beach. And then a couple beautiful small pieces finishing up here. Ah, eh, five minute, no big deal. Little dart point right here. Look at that. Can't even see it real good. Teeny bitty point. They beveled it off the back. All right, everybody. As I finish up, here's the last point I found today pretty much. Just a smoker. If I can get close enough to show you how great of a point this is. Look at this thing. Balanced.
beautiful point. Of course. Ah, it's hard to see. It's hard to show it's so small. Oh. Nice piece, isn't it? I don't know if my focus, if I can get the right range. So hard to hold on to. I don't even know how to make these things. Great piece. Anyway, appreciate you tuning in to Indian Trace. And uh, whew, that right there. Wow. That's Indian Trace.